Double butter burger with only ketchup and mustard on it, please. No cheese. And, um, I'll, oh, no problem. Just a double, please. Okay, and you just want ketchup and mustard? Yep, no cheese. Okay, can I get you anything else? Um, I'll actually make that the ba the basket. Yeah, and, what would you like to drink? And I actually did want that as a double, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, one moment. Okay, and what did you want to drink? Um, I will have a Sierra Mist. Okay. And then I will also just do a um, single cheeseburger. What would you like on the cheeseburger? Um, we can just do ketchup and mustard as well. Okay. And then you want to make that a basket? I will do that, and then I will also have a Sprite, or excuse me, a Siri Mist with that as well. Okay, can I get you anything else? That'll do it. Alright, 1427, please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. It's lit. Go ahead. What up? We are at... Culver's, which I would relate it to kind of like, like you know, In-N-Out, Mark? Yeah. I would relate it to, like, In-N-Out, but, mm -hmm. like, the Midwest version. Um, or, like, we got five guys out here, but Culver's, I really, if you're looking for a burger and fries and you're in, like, Wisconsin, I'm pretty sure they have them in, like, Illinois, Minnesota, but I don't know for sure. If you're in Wisconsin, hit Go up Culver's. Culver's. Butter Burger. That's where you, well, I'm telling you, double Butter Burger. That's what we're about to get. We're waiting right now. Um, they give you these little numbers, and then you, uh, you get your food. But anyways, um, today's video is going to be about something that I think a lot of you guys can relate to, something that a lot of you, I think, um, struggle number, with. Number, number, Oh. Thank you very much. You as well, man. Happy 4th of July. So, we just got my double butter burger and some fries and a Sierra Mist. But anyway, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Today's topic is going to be my split. So this is something that a lot of you guys specifically, I don't know his name, but he's asked me twice now to do a video on my split. And so I was like, we're with my buddy Mark. He's got a real nice new camera. What is it, Nikon 50? D5500. D5500. Um, as you can see, it's pretty crispy. But basically, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about my split really quickly and tell you guys what I've been doing for the last probably six months or so even longer and what I think is a good split um, to kind of go off of and what I kind of roughly base my split off of so enough rambling but basically guys what I run is six days of lifting one day off a week and the way I kind of mix it up is three of those days are gonna be max effort strength type days so um, like I a lot of times I'll say like that's gonna be when you're doing your um, your max effort lift so what Try to get a cool, is it still rolling? Yeah. Try to get a cool car on the film for you. But anyway, so a lot of times, the first three days of my of my lifting um, week are gonna be bench right now, currently is gonna be my first day. So I do a push day. So push days meaning chest, shoulders, and triceps. And it's gonna be all pushing movements, like bench included. So you can kind of understand why it's called a push day if you've ever wondered why the people call it that. But. That's when I do my bench first. I always start out the week with my weakest movement at that time, which has been bench for pretty much the longest time because you guys know if you follow my channel that my legs and my deadlifts and squats specifically are pretty strong. So I start out with bench, then I do a pull day, which is gonna be all pulling movements. Back and biceps is gonna be more so what it is if you're more of a bro split and you like calling it back and biceps. But um, as far as after that, I'll do legs. So like I said, the first three days are gonna be push, pull, legs. But on my pull day, my main compound movement is pull-ups. So you might wonder, oops, sorry. You might wonder why uh, I don't do deadlifts on my pull day. And the reason is because I'm doing my leg day f the following day. And if I did deadlifts that day, my rectors, low back, posterior chain in general would be very sore. So I just like to make it more of a um, bodybuilding style day with the pull-ups still being a main compound movement of that um, specific day. So. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense, but um, so those are the first three days. So going into the next three days of the week, I typically will do a hypertrophy style or higher volume style bench session after that, for that uh, first three days. 
so I'm kind of starting over again and I'll do more high volume stuff. So I'm still working on my normal bench press. I might switch and do dumbbell bench press, but typically I'll just do my normal dumbbell flat bench press, or excuse me, normal barbell flat bench press and just do a higher volume, higher rep range set, more in the hypertrophy rep ranges. So between eight and 15 reps. The way I like to think about this is if I'm doing the high volume with the same technique I would be doing for the lower volume for those really heavy sets and those really heavy um, one rep maxes, I'm still working on my technique and inevitably making myself better. So hopefully that makes sense and that's kind of what I do for the second half of the week going forward um, except for my deadlift. So I'll do my bench day and then my second day, we want to lower that a little bit because we got a popo right next to us. Um, but can you even still see me? Yeah. Oh, sweet. So yeah, basically, um, oh yeah, we didn't even get the popo behind us, so we're good. Um, but anyways, sp speaking on something quick, that we just went past the cops, uh, the, the police station by me, and they got the undercover cops nowadays. Man, they're really undercover. Literally looks exactly like my like, car. Like the Ford Explorer that we just passed, looks, it's like the brand new Ford Explorers with the Ford logo on the front, it's blue. Like I'm telling you, like, like like royal blue, like just a normal blue color. And there's nothing on it that you could tell is a cop car except for the front grill and then the license plates. But anyways, I digress. Um, but back to what I was telling you guys about. So I'll have my second, my second, um, my first, my first day. Oh, it's kind of got black smoke. Anyways, I get distracted easy. I'm like squirrel. But anyways, um, so the second half of the week, the first day is going to be bench. So I'm doing um, higher volume bench like I was telling you guys about. And then following that, I typically will have my deadlift session. So that's going to be my heavy deadlift session for the week, later in the week, because usually I get myself about that day after my squats. And then I pretty much am fresh to go for my deadlifts. And then after that um, is when I'll do my second leg session of the week. And um, lately, since my legs are a dominant muscle group, I've only been doing the one leg session a week and making that, um, that sixth day of the week more of a high volume, just arm day. So that's just because I've been trying to bring out my arms um, and that's what I've been doing for quite a bit of time now. But if you do want to build up your legs and make sure that you're kind of making sure that everything is all uniform and you're not having any weak points um, and you're, you're kind of um, just more of a beginner, you might want to hit legs twice a week and make that a leg day instead of um, another arm day or excluded arm day. But that's kind of my split right now. So it's basically just push pull legs, max effort, then um, push pull legs again, but more high volume. And then the difference of um, my split compared to a lot of people is instead of doing my deadlifts on my first pull day of the week, I do it on the second pull day. And then I'm kind of just eliminating the soreness of my erectors and the soreness of my posterior chain. Um, and posterior chain, I mean my glutes, my hamstrings, and um, my lower back. So that way I just kind of eliminate that and I'm fresh going into my deadlifts for the week. So that's kind of my split right now. We just got to my house and um, we're about to munch this culvers down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I don't know if I put any training clips over it or not, but um, if not, maybe you kind of enjoyed this little bit of a vlog style video and you might want me to do it a little bit more, especially with my buddy Mark, because that way we can kind of uh, feed off each other a little bit, you know, make some jokes for you guys, entertain you guys a little bit, because really, I'm trying to teach you guys stuff, but I always want you guys to be entertained because if you're not learning something and you're not being entertained at the same time, there's going to be another channel out there that can do that for you. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, um, you can kind of take something from this and uh, use my split if you need to, if you want to hop onto it. If you have any questions about it, leave them below. Otherwise, like, like the video, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace it's out. Lit. Happy 4th of July, guys. It's lit. Peace. It's lit.